Hi there, it's taken me a little while to build up the courage to record this one. Uh, today I wanted to share with you my biggest financial mistake. Uh, now, it involves the purchase of an apartment that my wife and I bought a few years ago now, it was back in 2009. Um, we bought that apartment off the plan uh, back in 2009 and as you do, uh, paid your 10% deposit. Now, the real positive with that is uh, at that stage, I didn't really have any major savings goals in mind. So buying the apartment uh, really uh, set my mind to, to saving the extra money that I needed for the deposit over the couple of years that it was being built. It wasn't um, you know, the, the, the last major uh, savings goal that I had was uh, saving up to buy my car, my first car that I bought when I was 18. So anyway, we put down this 10% deposit and off we went and saved and saved and saved for a number of years and, and, and uh, a few years later we ended up moving into the apartment. In the end we were only in there for a couple of years. In 2014, September of 2014, we sold that apartment uh, and began to rent. Now I really only bought that apartment because uh, I thought that I'd been working for long enough, I was old enough, I was earning enough, I needed to move out. Uh, and I was uh, of the view back then that rent money was dead money. Uh, absolutely don't uh, prescribe to that view now, but, but I did uh, all those years ago. So we bought this apartment. Uh, in the end, after it was built, we only lived there for a couple of years and we ended up selling it in September of 2009. Now, there were a great couple of years that we were living there. Uh, we got married during that time. Uh, we welcomed our first son into the world, so we lived there for a few months with our son. Uh, it was a great place. Uh, and we have some incredibly fond memories of that, of, of that place and you know, drive past there regularly. Uh, but from a financial standpoint, it was an absolute disaster. If you look at some of the numbers, back in 2009, uh, we paid or we agreed to buy the apartment for $490,000. So we signed a contract uh, for $490,000 uh, with you know, the settlement in, in two or three years time after it was built. Uh, now. At the time, we couldn't really buy a house in the area that we were looking at, certainly not for that money. Um, but then in 2014, when we eventually sold, uh, unfortunately, we were only able to sell the apartment for $470,000. Uh, now, in the interim, uh, from between us uh, buying and then eventually selling, uh, it really was the beginning of the, the huge apartment boom we've seen here in Melbourne. Uh, within the space of the few years that we lived there, there were literally thousands of apartments within only a, a, a couple of kilometre radius of where we were. So that absolutely uh, bit us when it came time to sell. So we ended up selling for $470,000. Um, so in the end, it, it cost us $20,000. Uh, if you're looking, just looking at those headline numbers, uh, but the real kick in the guts when it comes when you actually look at what happened to Melbourne property prices over the period. Uh, between 2009 and 2014, uh, Melbourne property prices rose by an average of 46%. Had we have bought a $490,000 house uh, at, back in 2009, according to those numbers, that house would have been worth something like $715,000 when we came to sell. Uh, it's these early years uh, where a lot of that, that, that really hurts, the compounding effect of that, and then trying to roll that money into a house uh, that we now own. Uh, was a challenge there for a couple of years. Now we've, we've recently just bought a house. We've had it now for a couple of years. Things are going great, uh, but that, that, uh, that couple of years where we didn't see any growth uh, in the value of our apartment really came back to bite us. So the purpose of this video, uh, one, I wanted to share a story, a uh, personal story of mine. I am an advisor doesn't mean I have all of the answers and I get everything right all the time. I am human just like everyone else and we make mistakes from time to time. Uh, the important thing is uh, that you realise those mistakes and you move on from them as quickly as possible. Um, we, in the end, we're only in the apartment for a couple of years. Uh, we outgrew it with the birth of my first son uh, and we quickly realised with all the apartments going up around us, even if we wanted to rent our apartment out, uh, we, our, our rent was ultimately going to get squeezed uh, so we made the decision to sell. Uh, we rented ourselves for a couple of years uh, and in the last two years have re-entered the property market. Um, that's my story. Uh, all the best for the rest of your day. Thank you.